Hello friends and welcome back. I hope you had a really good Wednesday. So if I just said yesterday was Wednesday, that makes today, it starts with the letter T boys and girls. It's Thursday. We have one more day until what comes after Thursday? Friday. Great job. So today is Thursday. What month, boys and girls? It's spelled M-A-Y. May. And what number is this? It's after 13. It's a 1 and a 4. 14 of 2020. So yesterday, our weather was sunny. And as the day went on, it got very windy. So I hope you enjoyed your day yesterday. It was a beautiful day. It was in between. So sometimes you need a jacket, sometimes not. So I hope you got outside and drew with chalk or rode your bike or did some activity outside, even going for a walk. But today, are we going to be able to do that, boys and girls? I don't think so because I don't see any sun right now. I see clouds. And what else is it doing, boys and girls? It's raining a lot. So I heard it's supposed to rain all day. So I don't think we'll be able to get outside today. But you know what? If you do go outside, it's supposed to be warmer than yesterday. So you might not need a jacket, but you might want one to shield yourself from the rain if you don't have an umbrella. And look, so we have an umbrella, an upside down one. Do you think that would work? No, because how is that going to protect you? You need it the right way, right? Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to do circle time. Then we are going to do a color song. And then we're going to read a book and do an activity or an art project. Are you ready for the day? Okay, let's go. Let's start with our shapes today, boys and girls. So we have our rectangle, triangle, circle, diamond or rhombus, oval, square, octagon, star, and heart. Okay, so now we are going to do our ABCs and numbers. Are you ready to say them with me? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Okay, now let's say our numbers, boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And of course, boys and girls, we have our colors. So we have pink, green, yellow, red, black, blue, orange, purple, brown, gray, and the color we're going to sing about. Do you remember what color, boys and girls, I said? White. So, you know, I was looking yesterday and we do not have a song, or we did not sing, a song about the color gray. And I did find one. So would you like to hear it? Maybe tomorrow we can do it, boys and girls? Yes? Okay. So we will do the color gray tomorrow. Okay. So we're doing the color white today. But before we sing, of course, we're going to have to spell it. Okay. So how do we spell white, boys and girls? The first letter of white is W. So we're going to do a big line diagonal, big line up, big line down, big line up. Do you hear the storm outside right now, boys and girls? 
I do. Okay, so that, so we have W. Next is H. So big line down, go over a little, big line down, and then connect them in the middle with a little line. The next is I. So big line down, big line across, big line across. And the next letter of white is the letter T. So we're going to do a big line down, back to the top, big line across. All right, do you think we're done, boys and girls? No? Yes? Oh, some of you think we're done spelling white, but we have one more letter to do. Do you know what letter that is, boys and girls? If you guessed E, you are correct. So remember for E, big line down, Little line, little line, little line. And that, my friends, is how you spell white. So we have W, H, I, T, E. Okay, so now let's sing about the color white. There are lots of things that are white. Are you sure? Yes, let's sing about them right now. W, H, I, T, E. Spells white, sing with me. Milk is white and so is glue. Ghosts are white and they say boo. going to read a story. It is called, Is Your Mama a Llama? Written by Deborah Guarino and illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. Have you read the story before, boys and girls? If not, well, let's see what it's all about. No, she is not, and is the answer that Dave gave. Can you see what Dave is, boys and girls? If not, let's see on the next page. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a... Okay, so what animal is that, boys and girls? What is his mama? Let's see if you're right. A bat. Did you guess bat, boys and girls? If so, high five. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddy said. So can you guess what his mama's going to be? She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be... What animal, boys and girls? Do you have your guess? Let's see if you're right. A swan. Did you guess a swan? If so, thumbs up, boys and girls. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. So what do you think Jane's mama is going to be? Well, let's see the clue she gives us. 
She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a... Okay, let's say it all together on three, what you think his, her mama is. One, two, three, a cow. Good job, boys and girls. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. Do you know what this one is, boys and girls? Make your guesses so after the clues we could see if we guessed the animal. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a... Okay, do you have your guesses on what his mama could be? Okay, let's see who's right. A seal! Did you guess a seal? So, thumbs up, boys and girls. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. Now, Rhonda's right here. Can you tell what animal that is? Let's see the clues to see if we can guess it. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me, so I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a... I know you know this animal, boys and girls. Let's see. Kangaroo. Great job with your guesses. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. What animal do you think her mama's going to be? Let's look at the clues. Oh, Lloyd, don't be so silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur. And you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one, too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a... So what is his mama and her mama? Do we finally get to see a llama? Let's see. A llama! Great job, boys and girls. And this is the end. Great job on guessing all of the animals, boys and girls. I really enjoyed this book. So to end today, we are going to do an art project. So I have white paper. It's more like a cardstock because it's heavier because we're going to be using watercolor again. So I have my watercolor, I have my paper, I have my water, and I have my brushes. I have more than one today, boys and girls. And I have a white crayon. Now you may be thinking, why do I have a white crayon and white paper? If I put the crayon on the paper, you can't see it. So why would I be using a white crayon? Well, you know what, boys and girls? That is a very good question. So I took my white paper and I took my white crayon and I drew a picture. Yes, I couldn't see it, but in my head, I imagined something and I put it on the paper. So what we're going to do to see if we can see what I drew, we're going to take the paintbrushes, dip it in water, and then dip it or get the watercolor nice and wet. This time I'm going to be doing it on here and then showing you. I hope you could see it now too. And then what I'm going to do, oh, I think I need more water is try to see if we could see what message I wrote to see what's on the paper. What do you think I, I made, boys and girls? And do you know what I'm going to ask you to do today, boys and girls, if you have watercolor at home? 
I am just going to ask you to do the same thing. To get white paper, you could just use regular white paper if you don't have sturdier paper. Get a white crayon from your house. Ooh. And then try to create a message on your paper. And then, of course, when it dries, I want you to take a picture, maybe of me and you with it, or just you. And of course, I would love to see your hidden messages. So I don't know if you could see my hidden message, boys and girls. Oh, I need more water. So one thing that we need to do with watercolor is a lot of water because they don't work otherwise. Okay, so this one was not as nice, but the top one is. Okay, so can you see what I wrote, boys and girls? What does it say? It's an H and an I. So I am saying hi. So this is my first message I wrote. Do you want to see my second one that I did? I don't remember what I wrote. I think we should do it to see what it is. Isn't that pretty neat? Do you remember doing this in class before, boys and girls? Because we have done it. Okay. So now let's see, we're going to try to do more black and I'm just going to put it on the end of the paper. Ooh, I see something coming. I don't know what it is though. Hmm. Can you tell what that is boys and girls in the corner? Ooh, a flower, you guessed a flower. That, isn't that awesome? Okay, let's see if we could see if there's anything else on this paper. Ooh, I see something else coming, boys and girls. So remember, if you want to do this, you're going to need some watercolor, paint brushes so you could paint it on. And of course, you're going to need white paper and a white crayon so that you can create a hidden message or to make it even funner, if that is a word, boys and girls, I just made it up. I'm sure I didn't make it up, but somebody did. That it would be fun if maybe your parents made a message and then you tried to see what it was. Wouldn't that be neat? Okay, my, ooh, I see more things coming. Woo, ooh, ooh, we're almost done. Then we could see what it is. Okay, so I am done. And can you see what it is, boys and girls? Another flower. So I have two flowers and a cloud up here. This was supposed to be the sun up here in this corner, but it did not turn out very well. So, I hope you have fun with this little art project today and I hope you have a good Thursday and we will see you back here tomorrow for Friday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.